Uh, well, I had tried watching it before, and then I only watched half of it. And then when I watched the whole thing, I realized why well, I only watched half of it. I I thought that movie was pretty awful. <laughs> um, I I think I before I can actually give a good opinion about the comparison, I need to read the book because I I don't I don't know that the movie was a really accurate depiction of what the novel was because I don't know it just didn't fit right right to me I mean things it just felt very disjointed and I I didn't I didn't get a lot of the movie so I I need to read the book before I can form a solid opinion I think and and if you're listening and if you have no idea what Battle Royale is um it is a two it's a Japanese film that was made in the year 2000 and it was based on a Japanese novel of the same name that um, was released in 1999. Um, and should we, we should probably sort of give a basic summary of the plot, right, just for those of you who are listening who don't know what it is. Um, Adam, do you want to sort of summarize the beginning? Well, like yeah. How would you, how would you describe it? What's the I scenario? I would describe it, and I do see what, what Crystal is saying that the movie is really disjointed. The production value is just not that good, and that's that's one of the problems. And I think there's also uh, maybe a little bit of a, a a barrier because of the Japanese style of filmmaking maybe doesn't resonate with American audiences quite as well. But uh, the story is basically a class of Japanese kids in some, uh, I guess, dystopian view of Japan uh, is is chosen at random participate in these games by former teacher and they're just without even knowing what's going on to go out there and kill each other a couple of them who really really things up previous games but yeah I mean, the part that, yeah, yeah yeah go ahead the, the part that I didn't really get was how um, did, did you mean it's only the country was 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 heavy unemployment and uh, everything was terrible, but they all looked so nicely groomed. <laughs> and, exactly. Um, and, and like um, it was like they said it was like the thirty second battle royale, but when they told the kids what they had to do, they had no idea. Like they they had no idea what battle royale was. Right. I, that that, was I found that a little bizarre. They they had never heard of the law or anything like that. Um, in, the, in the book, it's a lot clearer. Okay. The book yeah, is, John, the book is maybe you can tell us, because you, you, you're yeah. familiar with the book. Tell us, because yeah. Battle Royale is kind of, well, kind of getting embattled right now. What can you say in its defense? Yeah, um, the, 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 movie, the movie itself is a very, very truncated version of the book. Um, the movie was meant to be mostly a bunch of kids butchering each other, and they wanted to make it very over-the-top and bloody, and um, there's a lot of elements in the movie that aren't in the book and a lot of elements in the book that aren't in the movie. Um, for instance, the uh, in the movie, they make the teacher like sort of in charge of the whole deal when, um, as far as I recall, I could, be, I could be recalling this wrong, but the teacher wasn't that involved in the book. But um, what, what the primary premise is is that um, you have this dystopian government. It's it's not the future. It's actually an alternate timeline. Um, something has changed in our history, where Japan is now under this totalitarian regime, which sort of keeps most of the population in the dark about what's going on. It's actually very Orwellian. Uh, people generally go about their day to day lives, but to keep everyone in check, they hold the battle royale like every couple of years or something. I can't remember what the duration is. The students are picked to be a, be a computer lottery, and it's always an entire class. Um, so, and because classes are supposedly evenly divided between a male and female. Um, and they take them to some island, because Japan has lots of islands, and the island has been cordoned off by the government, and they are set there, and they start off in a school building, and then they have to leave the school building one by one, and then they have to spread out across the island and hunt each other down. Right. Yep. 
So, and, and uh, I mean, that's definitely, I mean, that premise is definitely similar to the Hunger Games, but there are a lot of differences. Um, for, for example, there's a, there's a time limit. Um, I don't know what that time limit is, but if they don't, uh, well, if there isn't. There's, two, there's, two time, there's, there's actually two time limits, um, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, there's a 24-hour limit. If no one dies within 24 hours, then everyone dies. Which was which was pretty pretty interesting, and then um, every couple I don't remember what the duration is, but they have zones in the, in the on the island. They're literally quadrants, um, and within certain periods of time, that a particular zone on the map will be declared in, un- uninhabitable, and they have to leave that zone or else colors on their neck explode. And what that does is that it keeps them, it starts pushing them more and more towards smaller and smaller land. So that's what the times the time limits are all about. Yeah, the danger right. zones it's, actually reminded kind of me of like Captain Fire. Yeah, with the clock arena. Yeah. Right. It's a, li- a little bit like that, but there's also, uh, you know, whereas Hunger Games didn't have zones so much, at least the, the first one, it was more about yeah. uh, the game makers would just decide to introduce things like tracker jackers or that sort of thing uh, to stir or up the fireballs. fight. Right. right. But also the... Yeah. These people in Battle Royale, since it was a whole class, these are, are kids who knew each other, right, and been in the same yeah. class together, that, uh, a, a whereas in Hunger Games... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I didn't. A, a, lot, of I battle, actually... a lot of Battle Royale was... Uh, sorry. Um, a lot of Battle Royale was actually a form of social commentary um, about, like, what happens to people when they're taken into different circumstances that they're not normally used to. You know, will they kill someone else, or, or will they, you know, like, there are some very interesting things that happen. I don't know, I mean, is it okay if I give some spoilers about the book? Uh, I mean, um... Yeah, definitely. So if you, you haven't read it, or if you haven't seen the movie, um, and if you don't want to hear any spoilers, then I guess plug your ears for a couple of minutes. Yeah, uh, I'm don't just going to briefly listening. list some of the ways... Some of the, some of the ways that they interest the way they show um, what happens to people in these circumstances, like right off the bat at the beginning of the book, a boyfriend and girlfriend just jump off a cliff because they just they just refuse to deal with the deal with deal with the battle royale. Um, there's um, uh, you know girls who pack who who form a group together, but then continually build distrust with each other and end up killing all of themselves inside of a house. So there's some very interesting social dynamics that are going on in the book. Um, that that transcend beyond just the whole idea of brutal killing. That, that's one of the reasons why I found the book. I found the book very very interesting. Right. So I think to it's me one of the main differences is more about um, the the psycho. It's the psychological aspect of dealing with the situation. Whereas while Katniss certainly uh, suffers that, you get the sense that uh, the Hunger Games is more about the capital and its totalitarian control over the district. And Katniss is just sort of well to survive. I want to read a quote from our friend from Hunger Games Philippines who may have some close proximity to this experience uh, being in Philippines, uh, not far from Japan. They say, Hunger Games isn't a ripoff of Battle Royale, rather a reinvention of the theme which has been there way before Battle Royale. And I think that's a great point to make because if anyone who thinks Battle Royale is the first book to come up with this idea, then they're crazy. This has actually been floated around for many, many years in, in various media. So it's not like anyone has the right to claim ownership of a fight to the death tournament. Uh, I, think I was going to say unfair. that Stephen King has at least written two books that touch on this same topic, The Long Walk and uh, The Running Man. Both have very similar themes to The Hunger Games or Battle Royale. So it's definitely not a unique idea. One of the things that I, I generally one of the things that I generally tell my friends about it because uh, I know you, you brought me on here because I, I was talking to you in the past about um, my identification of Battle Royale being at least an influence. Um, it's not that I, I don't feel it's a ripoff and I don't feel it's a theft in any way. Uh, but what I do feel is that people need to pay attention to the, to the literary origins of things and that um, you know. Hunger Games might have elements from Battle Royale. Battle Royale obvi- probably comes from um, what's it called? Uh, not the greatest game. Um, the most dangerous game. Thank you. 
the most dangerous game, right. which then can be derived backwards to the lottery, which I think the lottery is probably the right. oldest piece of English literature you can go that goes to that, at least in English. Uh, you know, you can always go back to Roman and, and Greek. But, um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to look at this. People say it's a, it's a lie, that it's a ripoff. I feel that people should should read these things and see where where things are possibly derived from. Um, I, I, I feel the same way with, um, I mean, for instance, Stephanie Myers, the host, has some strange parallels to an older science fiction book called To Marry Medusa by um, Theodore Sturgeon. And unfortunately, no one reads Theodore Sturgeon anymore. And you know, I, I feel that certain modern authors pretend not these these people don't exist and keep on going. And I think people need to read and see where these origins are from.